What if you have a sex date and you don't want to have sex? Doesn't sound like a sex date then, is it? This is Reed Mahaka from ReadAboutSex.com. It's all your fault. You didn't want to have sex, Kathy, <laughs> from the IntimacyDojo.com. <laughs> it can be hard if there's expectations on both sides. Sure. And sometimes when I feel pressured, I don't want to. Mm -hmm. um, and but you promised a sex date, Kathy. You said <laughs> that and put it in your calendar. So now you're a liar. Yeah, I would be. Um, I think it's really great when you set up a date. It can be a great, great to have dates for sex to connect with someone that you like connecting with that way. But it's really, I think it's really healthy to also say, you know, if either of us are not in the mood, we get to either reschedule or you know, see, renegotiate what we're going to do for the evening. Um, so kind of setting up the expectation ahead of time. Or if I know I'm not in the mood that day, like I'm not feeling great, um, I might text someone and say, hey. You know, do you want to reschedule? No sex for you. Well, or I'm not feeling, mm -hmm. at least at this point, yeah. do you want to get together and cuddle, which sometimes changes my mind, or, um, yeah, there's, feeling obligated and feeling trapped is not sexy. Obligation. Unless it's sexy Unless for you. obligation is sexy for yeah. you, and there are people out there who enjoy that kind of uh, role playing. Um, obligation is usually less sexier than choice. And you're gonna we have human beings who we make a date and then all of a sudden our moods or we had a crappy crappy day and it's just not working out questions that can be really useful to ask yourself and these are questions that I got from Esther Perel um, genius of a woman who wrote the book mating in captivity which I would recommend everybody read um, ask yourself these questions which are her questions which is I turn myself off when mm -hmm. I turn myself on when um, and uh, start there because it's really interesting to have the turn on investigation be on your end um, and then you can this is my question is I feel disappointed when I feel you know excited when and use that for if you're the on the receiving end of when somebody needs to cancel or change um, a sex date, uh, which I guess we're meaning a date where you, you scheduled, hey, let's have sex at this time. Let's meet and have sex. And it could be maybe we'll have dinner and then have sex. Because not all dates have sex and yeah. not all sex had a date. <laughs> yeah. um, but do this kind of investigation. So the, the better you are with tools around disappointment and managing your own expectations, um, those are just useful for life in general. Mm -hmm. And bringing the ability to talk about this stuff and share about these things uh, vulnerably and intimately is just useful for the kinds of relationships where you're fostering erotic and sexual connection. Because, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes you can be having sex and then all of a sudden not, not be in the mood. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, and a lot of people think that, what, you're not allowed to change your mind. Mm -hmm. And being able to change your mind and have relationships where people can change your mind and communicate immediately with you as best they can what's going on that's sexy mm -hmm. what do you think leave comments below thanks for watching if you'd like to subscribe to my social media it's right there and please subscribe to this channel there if you'd like to see more of you reading Kathy there's more videos there I didn't see them. why are they there <laughs>